Hello everyone, this is Ray Space, and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In a video a while ago, I had argued about the benefits of making a 12 meter diameter starship instead of the regular 9 meter diameter one, and of course, uh, 12 meter diameter super heavy eventually instead of the 9 meter one. And this is mainly because they're planning to lengthen Starship, make it longer so it can carry more propellant, and then they would fit 9 engines on it so that they could boost the payload capacity of it. But once it becomes that long, it, it gets a little bit unwieldy overall. Its dynamics are completely going to change. And also, I have a morbid fear of tipping over when landing on places when it comes to tall things. And that would be true of the lengthened Starship for sure, especially because the payload is going to be on top. Uh, right, uh, so the longer you make it, the more cumbersome this is going to be. The payload is in here, and it's sitting in here, and it's like 100 tons, or in this case, 150 tons, I'm hoping, uh, though we will get to that. But uh, So you know that the center of mass is going to be fairly high, and that causes problems. Uh, then you'll need really large landing legs or something, and if you have really large landing legs, that cuts into your uh, your payload capacity as well. So it, it's a whole chain reaction. So I said, well, they probably should have just stuck to their guns on the 12 meter thing originally, but they were trying to use certain facilities, etc., etc. I know, uh, but it's not like they don't have to make changes as it is. So yes, I uh, made that whole argument before, and. What I didn't have was a nice 12 meter starship. I've accidentally made two <laughs> because uh, I, I made one and then I forgot I had made one and then I adapted Pekka's to be a, another one. So I made uh, this, I don't know if I can slap it on here, but uh, this one was based on my own model and I made it more of a, oh, I put two on, uh, I made it more of a shuttle style. And so that, that was based on my old Starship model, but instead, uh, this one I think was probably longer. It was probably just straight scaled. No, it's about the right, yeah, it's about the right height. So anyway, I've decided to take Pekka's model and uh, adapt it to be 12 meters. This is not merely a matter of changing the scale, you know, pressing S in Blender and then scaling it up by 1.33. Uh, it is because in that case you're going to end up having it longer and I don't want it longer. I want it to have the higher fuel capacity that they're intending to have with the I guess version 4 Starship but not be longer. So we don't want to just scale it up and I couldn't just like scale it up in two dimensions and then not scale it up in the other dimension because that would stretch the textures and make them look awkward. So I have to go in and do surgery and cut sections out in order to make it look right. So it was a little bit more involved. and But I, I think it's looking right. I did just straight scale the flaps. I don't know if they are working right, but that that's a functionality we're not going to consider for now. And at the bottom, we do have the nine engines. You note the lack of a hot staging ring. Well, that's because we've still got the nine meter super heavy down there. And I'm keeping the nine meter super heavy out of curiosity. We're going to see how that goes. So we have a six of the vacuum engines and three of the sea level down there. And we are just going to straight up stage them like that and see how that goes. And it's just normal super heavy. I think I will manually stage everything rather than try to use the KOS script because this KOS script uh, business is probably not suited to having such a heavy starship on Super Heavy. It's probably waiting for the right mass for certain things and we're not going to be at that mass. So I'm going to try to do this manually and my goal is to get 150 tons to lower Earth orbit while still having enough fuel for the descent of Starship ultimately, but it's it's not telling me that I've got enough delta V here because the staging is all weird with the tower and everything, so I'm just going to have to find that out. Let's find that out practically by just launching it because that would be fun, right? 
It looks a little bit weird. Of course you can't do this. Uh, it's, it's going to be complicated and everything, but um, this is hypothetical. This is, there's a point to this. Uh, let me just launch and then we'll talk about it. We'll just go straight out. And I'm still not going to get a clean Delta V reading there, but I do need the burn time so that I can reserve enough fuel. So, the, p the point of this is I've been making a future history timeline, and even though I'm focused on certain countries, the TIPA countries that I talked about before, which are not the United States, Russia, China, or the bulk of the European Union, uh, I do need to figure out what those other countries are going to do and sort of plot out where what where they're going to go for the next hundred years or so and that includes wow this is this has got a lot of drag we probably should have gone straight up for longer well that's why I decided to make this model but yeah so I have to figure out all the variations and this is one of those variations. This, I mean, and then test it to see whether it's a workable variation. I've already got the advanced starship with the whole big solar panels and potential for ion engines fitted and hydrolox and all that. There's many variations and this is just one more that we're assessing the efficacy of. Would this be a thing to do or not? But right away here, I'm going to say that we need to launch straight up a little bit longer. Oh, let's just go at dawn. Uh, maybe the, the thrust weight ratio, well, I don't even know what the thrust weight ratio is. But maybe it's a little bit low with the heavier starship. Okay. So I do need to stop the scripts again, otherwise they're going to do things I don't want them to do. Okay. Ignition. Ignition. And go. Now we're not even using all of the volume in this 12 meter starship, but then Pegasus configurations didn't use all of the potential tankage volume in the 9 meter starship either. So, As far as ratios are concerned, the mass of this is 1.5 times the mass of the 12 meter starship. And the volume, the tankage volume is 1.7 times the tankage volume of the 9 meter starship. However, we're not using all of that, partly because we, we only have 50% more thrust. So there's not a whole lot of point having that much more fuel. We certainly have more payload volume, which I certainly do like. I would like to have more space for my payload. Well, I might have gone a little bit too steeply. Maybe I should have tried for uh, ascent guidance, but then we do have to shut it off early, so that's complicated. So far, if it's reading the delta V right, we do not have nearly enough. Well, I'm gonna save 18 seconds. Okay, we do have more than it was indicating. But do we have enough? I don't know. It's bulky in this format. Deliberately bulky. But I have a lot more faith in actually setting it down like this. Well, it doesn't look like we have quite enough, but that could be down to trajectory. All right, well, we fell about 400 meters per second short. Well, more than that, because we do want to have enough for this to return safely. So that's not good enough. But maybe the trajectory could do some work. I think I was too steep this time, overcompensating a little bit. But maybe I'll cut it also down to 140 tons. We don't have those Raptor 3s yet, after all.
Okay, 140 tons. And I'll try to readjust the way I'm going. And let's go. Alright, perhaps a little bit better. We'll see. Oh, 16 seconds. Didn't reserve quite as much as I was intending. Well, still okay on Delta V right now. But we still have to go up a bit. And I'm cutting the times wap waps as close as possible. Okay, whoa, I was a little bit too quick on that, and we were a little bit lopsided. But with only 26 meters per second left, that's probably not good enough. Hmm, well, this isn't getting as much as I would like. It does have the additional volume, so there are a lot of payloads that I would like it for because the payloads just don't fit into Starship. I mean, if you've got 140 tons, it doesn't always end up very small. But we're not getting quite as much as I would like as far as the spare amount that we need to bring it back down. Though how much I need in order to bring it back down is a good question. If we separate it off the payload and go back here, well, it only has 46 meters per second now, so that's still not good enough. Overall, I'm dissatisfied. That's 190 tons. We barely have any fuel. Maybe I've made it a little bit too heavy. Uh, let me just get the dry mass. Let me just dump this. Oh, well, it's not... I mean, 172 tons for a 12-meter starship is what we're talking about with the engines fitted. So maybe it's a bit heavy. 140 tons is not working out. I'm sure some a, a little bit less will work out, like if I made it 130. But if you're going to go for it, a 12 meter starship, I guess maybe it would only be better if we also have a 12 meter super heavy, right? You can't just have the 12 meter starship and then expect to get 50% more cargo capacity to orbit. Well, I say 50% more, but I, they're not... They're not particularly close to getting the 100 tons yet either. Um, and then we would like the Raptor 3s, which I'm not using right now. So that's another thing. I'm just using Raptor Nows. So there's a bunch of things that we can do. And I am figuring this out for future purposes. But maybe the thing hampering us is not having the larger Super Heavy. I just wanted to do this because, well, it, it's it's interesting to see it, right? We've got the whole big upper stage thing going, like Delta Three. Yeah, this is a little bit unwieldy. As far as sizing up super heavy, well, I guess I can do that. Basically, the same way I did this. It'll take some time, as usual, uh, to make sure that I don't stretch the textures in a way. And I don't really want it to be taller. I just want it to be wider. So it'll be a heftier thing. And I guess we'll put 42 engines at the bottom, just like ITS would have had, instead of having uh, 33 or whatever they have right now. Uh, this stack, of course, has the vaunted 42 altogether, 9 on the upper stage and 33 at the bottom, which... Uh, I guess Elon would be proud of. But anyway, so far I, I, I'm not thrilled with the performance, but uh, it could be useful. I think the main thing hampering us is the fact that we're still using the original Super Heavy, but there is a plus side to that because we know it works. At least it works as far as being caught by the chopsticks once. Uh, reusing it, that's another question. So anyway, this was an experiment, and you can tell how I feel about it. I, I'll keep working on it, and we'll have a 12 meter starship. I envision that it would be a development in the um, 2040s kind of thing, and then the advanced starship I had shown before might have uh, further developments, that's uh, this one, uh, and might be later on, 
So it's got all that business going, but it's more of a ship rather than a lander because I think by the time this gets used, uh, they will have specialty landers instead of trying to do everything with the same vehicle. But that's much later on. So anyway, that has been testing of the 12 meter Starship. With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.